सो अनदर गुड क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट हैज आस्ट दैट अ डाइपोल मोमेंट अ डाइपोल मोमेंट ऑफ सो लेट मी यूज कर सर सो दिस डाइपोल P इज इक्वल टू पी नॉट के कैप इज पुट ऑन ओरिजिन ओ एलोंग द जेड डायरेक्शन ओके एंड दे इज अनदर दे इज स्फियर दिस इज एन स्फियर सो द डाइपोल इज इन साइड दिस स्फियर एंड द स्फियर इज सेंटर एट दिस ओरिजिन नाउ दिस इज अ होल फुल स्फियर बट दिस इज अ होल फुल स्फियर I have made hemisphere which is upside the x y plane. So the the red red part of the sphere which I have made is upper half hemi upper half of the sphere which is hemisphere above the x y plane. And uh, why I have made this because the question is that what will be the flux passing through this upper hemisphere? Okay. so this is the question that a dipole is put on the center of the this sphere and what will be the uh, uh, flux passing through this sphere so the so first we have to calculate the potential due to this uh, dipole okay if you know the potential expression then it is good so the expression for potential Uh, this is the expression for the potential of a dipole so this is and we can uh, using this uh, is definition of electric field is equal to minus gradient v we calculate electric field okay so this is the definition of gradient v i have written here explicitly now uh, i have calculated here uh, the radial component of electric field which will be clear here in a minute that on uh, why only i have calculated the radial component of the electric field not the theta component and the phi component so now let us calculate um, the flux so this is the expression for the flux okay so uh, here so here because uh, we know that here phi component will be zero of the electric field because there is no because v the potential is independent of phi the derivative with respect to phi will be zero and there will be one more term with the, uh, due of the, uh, which will be uh, due to this uh, derivative of theta and derivative with respect to theta there will be one more term which i have not written here because th that is th it has no use in the question okay so so electric field will have two component one is radial component another is a uh, theta component these two components uh, there are only two components of the electric field okay so now we have to calculate e dot ds so e dot ds means we uh, e dot ds means uh, we have to take the dot product so ds have um, ds vector so ds vector can be so ds is a surface element so this is a surface and here this is an cap vector so ds vector will be along this cap this direction which will be so this ds vector will be r square sin theta d theta d phi n cap n cap is the normal unit vector to this surface so uh, this is the definition of e dot ds and in this definition r cap and n cap will be along the same direction that's why th this will be equal to 1 so this is the e dot ds now we use it this e dot ds in the definition of this phi and we have to the have to do the integration uh, yeah so it is uh, now clear to you why we are not using the theta component of the electric field because because theta dot n cap will be zero because these two are perpendicular so in theta cap uh, is tangent to the surface and n cap is perpendicular to the surface so that's why this uh, is zero now we have calculated here the e dot ds now we will use the definition of phi so this uh, sorry we do the integration to calculate the flux passing through the upper hemisphere okay so we do the integration and we calculate the answer is this okay so this is the solution thank you very much